Now, we mentioned crisis, but really, what crisis? It's been quite resilient, hasn't it? Does that surprise you, Jacques? Well, I mean, the, the, the euro has depreciated uh, over the, the crisis. There is no doubt about that. And I think the um, the, the starting point was uh, a very uh, expensive level. And so I think it's uh, interesting that people are complaining about uh, the decline of the euro as, as a sign that uh, the euro uh, could be breaking up. I think we're still at uh, relatively expensive levels uh, relative to historical levels. So, yes, we have had some depreciation. I would argue with you, I would agree with you that uh, there has been some uh, uh, resilience here, given that we're still relatively expensive relative to uh, uh, any measure that, uh, you know, looking at fair values about uh, the euro. So, yes, we, we've held up pretty well. I think uh, going forward, if it is true that, uh, and, and we do think that we've uh, turned the corner in terms of the periphery as far as the crisis is concerned, um, it, it is unclear that uh, the euro will appreciate massively, given that uh, there are cyclical dimensions as well to take on board. And uh, the uh, U.S. Uh, European relative performance, uh, we think that uh, the U.S. could be growing at four times the pace of uh, the uh, region uh, in the euro area this year. Jacques, is it really true that Greece has turned a corner. They still have 20 billion to repay. Sure, the bond sale went pretty well, but what's next? Well, yeah, we do definitely think that uh, Greece has turned the corner as far as uh, the short-term and imminent funding crisis that uh, the market had uh, prepared itself for. Uh, the backstop facility and the support, the political and financial support, which is standing behind uh, when reading EU official statement to us are extremely important. And uh, it doesn't solve, obviously, the, the medium-term issues, but that, uh, from a market standpoint, is a major development, uh, which we think uh, will last at least for several months if not uh, for the whole year and the medium term issues can be dealt with with uh, much uh, a much longer time horizon uh, which is a complete different game than the one that the market was betting on uh, so over Jacques, the course of the first of quarter. So what level could we see for a euro dollar? Of course a lot of these exporting countries are benefiting from this weakness on the euro. Yeah I, again I wouldn't call that weakness uh, given where the, the the euro stands and I think we could see further weakness just from cyclical from a cyclical standpoint if you think that you are in a business cycle recovery the US will lead this recovery and this won't benefit the euro it will benefit the dollar so I'm not sure that uh, uh, we are still um, you know we've reached the lows here and uh, exporters uh, obviously have uh, said that uh, a cheaper euro is obviously a, a positive for uh, the European manufacturing sector which is showing signs of a pickup actually Yes. I want, uh, just very quickly, in the next uh, 20 seconds, 20 seconds or so, yes. is the contagion story over with now? I would say so, yes. I think that uh, although it does look like the financial support and, and all the financial and so solidarity that is talked about is about one about Greece, I think that the rest of the region is also now immune from uh, uh, aggressive contagion. Um, and, and the fundamentals of those countries are also extremely different, I would say, from those of Greece. So I'm not betting on contagion here.